welcome to Adelaide. As you guys can see behind us, we have the Adelaide Oval, really famous sports stadium in South Australia. Now we are down here because we're running an IDC with Adelaide Scuba in August and we were so excited to do that. Now we had to come down, meet the crew, meet everyone as well and explore Adelaide as well. But of course, we went for a dive. Where do we go, Holly? Now, as you can see, it's pretty sunny today, but it has been a bit rainy and windy. So we had to head three hours up the road to find a dive site that was gonna be suitable for us to dive. And we went to Edithburg, where we dove the jetty up there. Lots of crabs, lots of nudie ranks, all that sort of stuff. Pretty chilly, 15 degree water. So all in dry suits, 90 minute dive, lots to see. And that's the footage that we're gonna run today. Yeah, it was awesome. And thank you guys to Adley Scuba and Fazzy for looking after us for the past, past few days. We had a wicked time down here. First time down here. Let's jump in and go dive the jetty. See ya. Bye. The wind's in my hair On the open road My tank is full Welcome to one of South Australia's most popular shore dives, Edithburgh Jetty. Now we were excited to dive this, but we had some new toys to play with as well. So right now, I'm using Backscatcher's Flit 11 macro lens to see how it performs. And you can see the difference from when the lens was on and off. It's getting great detail on these nudibranchs and also the decorated crabs, which were so cool to see. Now this was a beautiful dive. Our plan was to richly dive Rapid Bay or also on the other shore dives really famous for leafy sea dragons. But unfortunately, the 30 knot winds were blowing. So we took the three hour drive from Adelaide to Edithburgh to dive under this jetty. And funny enough, even Blue World TV dived the site four years ago in search of pygmy squid. But honestly, underneath here was spectacular. Even looking around where you got the razor clams, you had decorated crabs everywhere. And they're so cool to see. The way they start camouflaging themselves, as you're gonna see just coming up here. Look at the way they allow the algae to grow on them and they put other marine life on it and marine algae to grow and hide amongst the algae and the seagrass. It's almost like a crown. It kind of reminds me of the character in Madagascar, the lemur king with his decorative hats. That's what it reminded me of and kept making me laugh. But one thing that are really quite cool here is the starfish. There's so many starfish, including 11 armed starfish, which are insane. The size of them was huge. But our mission was to try and find a leafy sea dragon. And we're in prime real estate leafy sea dragon hiding territory. As you can see, we have coral, we have red algae, we have a lot of stuff that's perfect for them to shelter and hide in. And honestly, in this dive, we probably spent close to maybe 40 minutes in this area just looking, trying to find them. Now, Fazzy had said he has found them here before. They are in this little bowl area, but unfortunately, we were having no luck today. But what we did find was some really cool marine life, including this magpie perch. I love the way their face was at the front, the way they would just eat the algae and spit out sand. It was really cool to watch them interacting in the ocean. Under the jetty was where the real treats were. There was really cool starfish, including biscuit stars as well. There was more magpie perch. There was cowfish. There was different species of fish that I hadn't actually seen before because it was a little bit nippy here you know being 15 degrees so it reminded me a bit of Scotland in summer 
Now of course it's winter in Adelaide, it's a little bit warmer, but this was special. Look at this, an ornate cowfish. I love seeing this fish. This fish was so cool and was probably the highlight of the dive for me. Because I'd never seen one so colourful like this before. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed coming and exploring under this stunning pier. Unfortunately, we didn't get the leafy sea dragons. We're back down in Adelaide in August and hopefully we'll get some leafy sea dragons then for you guys. But this is what made me laugh. These two crabs. This is what crabs do. They're having a fight just now, believe it or not. And how they decide who wins is the one who has a bigger arm span. So you can see the one on the left has got the bigger arm span stretched out and the other one is backing off. You got to love the ocean and the interactions you see here. It's just a different world and this is why as us all scuba divers love going out and exploring these amazing underwater worlds. It doesn't matter where it is in the world, if it's warm water, cold water, there's just always something to see and enjoy under the water. But guys, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like and share. And as always guys, we'll see you guys in the next video and stay to the end. Stay safe guys and dive loads. yourself though yeah yeah, yeah. it's nice <laughs>